Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game SO. Today we're going to get a fun and exciting episode for you guys this evening because a few months ago we talked about the recompilation project for Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. All this is really doing is recompiling the Nintendo 64 game to new target hardware, in this instance a PC. But when we talked about it last time, there was only one version of the game supported and that was in the Japanese language. So if you didn't read, write, or understand Japanese, you could see all the new improvements but you couldn't understand the story. If you can't tell already with the subtitles on the amazing intro song this now supports the english rom so you can play mystical ninja starring goemon with the recompiled version in full english and that is absolutely awesome because the writing in this game is absurd it's unique it's fun and it really does drive the entire story forward and you want to be able to understand it so now with the recompiled project and all of the associated files you can play the english version and get all of the story in your native language at least for my audience that is and that is awesome and i promised you guys i would update the video when this this project got to the point where it could support the English ROM and that day is today. Technically it was a little bit ago but I finally got around to making the video. But I absolutely love all of these recompilation projects and they totally blow my mind. This is still the same Goemon game you played back in the day on Nintendo 64 but the internal rendering resolution has taken a huge bump. You have widescreen support, a ton of quality of life improvements, and so many other awesome things. And I particularly like the fact that all the dogs in this game can be talked to. They all have their own personalities and lines of dialogue and this is what i love so much about retro modding take a game from the nintendo 64 that everyone remembers and modernize it for a modern audience and the recompilation projects are just really getting off the ground we have majora's mask we have perfect dark and we have goemon i really hope at some point in time that these sort of projects encompass the entirety of the nintendo 64 library because there's so many other games i would love to see read time real compiled to get this level of graphical fidelity and improvement and this is running at 60 frames per second i locked it to 60 but you can run this basically to whatever frame rate your monitor will support and if you don't want to do widescreen you can 100 just go down to 4x3 and if you want to run it at the original frame rate you can do that as well this project is going to give you all of the different options so you can kind of tailor your goemon experience to whatever you want it to be but i do think this game really upscales so well all of the textures all of the art style really do lend themselves to being upscaled in real time. Sure, the models are made out of many polygons, but it gives it a very toy-like aesthetic, almost like you're watching action figures run around, and that is just awesome. Plus, you get a modern controller, whatever bindings you want, and you can change the rumble support and anything else you want within the game. And now that it is in English, you can understand all of the absurdity of Goemon. And if there's any reason why you've never played this game before, you've been thinking about doing it, trust me, now is the time. This is one of the best games in 3D I think Konami ever made made as far as this genre is concerned and seeing Goemon in these modern ways just really makes the game shine and kind of be fun in a completely different way. Sure if you hated this game back in the day this isn't going to magically make you love it but if you love this game back in the day this is going to be a brand new style experience for you to enjoy and it was interesting when this project first came out that it only targeted the Japanese ROM because it's just one of those things most people wanted to play it in English and again I told you I'd make this video when it happened and this is so exciting to be able to do so and there's so many other titles that would benefit from the recompilation project but you can leave me a comment down below and now that Goemon is in English what is the next game you would love to see for me it's definitely Bomberman Hero but that is my favorite Nintendo 64 game of all time and you can see obviously we're getting a free map the entire map of Japan and this is stuff in the previous recompiled version unless you read Japanese and understood it you really wouldn't know what to do if it's your favorite game and you play it dozens upon dozens of times you might have been able to poke through and get through the ending of the game just by muscle memory but obviously being able to read everything is the way you should and do want to play a game and now that is available and as we're inside of Mount Fuji here again I love the upscaling on all of the graphics it just looks so good and I think that's down to the fact that Konami used a lot of very simple textures when they made this game on Nintendo 64 originally and all of those textures and geometry really do just upscale so well if there was more complex textures it might not look as good but honestly here it looks outstanding and just so you know I do have 4x MSA on as well to try to get down some more jaggies on the edges of those polygons but now that we've gotten to the top of Mount Fuji we're going to be able to get the pipe chain which is going to open up a whole new area of the game for us and I really love just how exploratory Goemon is and how you really do need to do a lot of fun backtracking to get to the end of the game it is very creative in that respect almost feels like a 3d Metroidvania 
Virginia. So let's take the fast route down from Mount Fuji. I'm going to give you a sample of the soundtrack now in the recompiled version. And I'll be back to show you more game, but enjoy. I just love the soundtrack of Goemon, I think it's some of the best music Konami made on the Nintendo 64, and now in the recompiled version, when you're not actually dealing with real Nintendo 64 hardware, the sound clarity definitely has improved because it's obviously just a digital-to-digital -digital implementation, there's no analog sound hardware there, and I do think the game lends itself to being in 16x9, sure the camera will fight you every once in a while, it is still a Nintendo 64 game at heart after all, but for the most part, seeing these areas in the castle in widescreen does work, and I appreciate the fact that all of these models scale so well. Basically, they are very low poly models because Nintendo 64, while powerful, couldn't use that many polygons for the enemies on screen. And there's something about that stylistic choice that actually improves it in the recompilation. All of these flat shaded textures here, it just really does work as far as the style is concerned. You have all of these different repeating patterns on the walls. The upscaling on them looks nice. You get a little bit of that Nintendo 64 blur because the texture cache was not large whatsoever, but it does really work here in Goemon. I'm trying to think of some Nintendo 64 games that have really complex textures that might not scale as well, so if you can think about something, leave me a comment down below. And another game I really hope comes to the recompilation project would be Sin and Punishment. I'd love to play an upscaled version of that game in widescreen with modern controls and analog support, but again, if you can think of another title you'd love to see, tell me down below. Now in the hallways here with 16x9, you can see a little bit of distortion at the edges, but I kind of actually like that, and I do think it does look good and you can basically have this rendered to whatever sort of aspect ratio you want you can do 16 by 9 you can do 4 by 3 you can do your monitor's resolution it really is versatile in the way it basically just adheres to what you tell it to do and it just works and that's the best part about these recompilation projects in my opinion they just work they are very fiddle free you don't have a bunch of settings you just basically go through it like it's a pc game on steam toggle what you want on or off change your settings and go from there and that's another great thing this is going to be so user friendly for pretty much anyone who comes along and wants to check it out and I can't wait to see in the future what other options are going to be available. I know some of the Nintendo 64 recompilation projects are thinking about adding in ray tracing and other effects really bringing this to such a modern degree of graphical fidelity but honestly for me this is plenty. Upscaling the game, giving me widescreen support, giving me 60 frames per second and giving me quality of life improvements is all I really need to enjoy them because honestly at least for Goemon I don't know that ray tracing would really benefit much of anything. Sure, it would look a little bit prettier, but it's not going to add any fun to the game. But truth be told, the game doesn't need any fun added. I do think it is one of the best games of all time. But one more soundtrack sample because it sounds so good, and I'll come back, show you the first boss, and talk about where I hope the project goes. But enjoy! Again, I just love the soundtrack in this game, and I love its tongue-in-cheek sense of humor. The localization team back in the day that brought this from Japan to Nintendo 64 in North America did an awesome job of making it fun, weird, charming, and completely confusing all at the same time. And that's why I've always loved this game. It feels different and unique compared to pretty much anything else on the Nintendo 64 library. And now with a recompilation project, you can play the English ROM, you can get all of the internal upscaling, all of the new controls, all of the widescreen support, but it's still 
the same fun game and that's why these projects are so amazing and this is going to give a whole new audience to games like this because there's a ton of people out there that maybe didn't grow up with Nintendo 64 and now when they try to play the games on real hardware or even on FPGA they think the look and feel is a little bit antiquated and they're not used to the low frame rate. Well that problem's been completely solved so go ahead and play Goemon today. Make sure you grab the most recent version. I'll try to link it down below but it might be a drive file that I can't link but short of that go play it. You can't go wrong and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.